Have you ever wondered how a small group of thinkers in a garage could spark a revolution that would reshape our world? This isn't the story of a rock band or a tech startup from the 90s. This is the story of OpenAI, a journey from a bold idea to the very forefront of artificial intelligence. It's a tale of ambition, innovation, and a mission that could define the future of humanity itself. So, how did we get from a visionary dream to the generative AI explosion we see today? Let's find out. Our story begins in December 2015. The world of AI was dominated by a few tech giants, but a group of visionaries, including names you might recognize like Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, Ilya Sutskeva, and Elon Musk, came together with a radical idea. They announced the formation of OpenAI, a non-profit research lab with a mission that sounded like something out of science fiction, to ensure that artificial general intelligence, or AGI, benefits all of humanity. Their goal wasn't just to build AI, but to build it safely and openly, steering it away from corporate greed and towards the common good. This wasn't just another company, it was a crusade. In its early days, OpenAI was a pure research sanctuary. They weren't focused on products, but on pushing the fundamental boundaries of AI. They released tools like OpenAI Gym and Universe, which were like digital playgrounds for AI agents to learn and explore. Think of it like teaching a toddler to walk and interact with the world, but for algorithms. They published groundbreaking papers on reinforcement learning, a technique where AI learns through trial and error, much like we do. This period was all about laying the scientific groundwork, sharing discoveries openly, and building a community dedicated to friendly AI development. They were planting the seeds for the giants that would soon grow. But building truly powerful AI requires something more than just brilliant minds. It requires immense computational power, and that costs a staggering amount of money. By 2019, the founders realized that the non-profit model couldn't support their escalating ambitions. To compete on a global scale, they needed to scale up, fast. This led to a pivotal and controversial decision, the creation of OpenAI LP, a capped profit company. This hybrid structure allowed them to attract massive investment while, in theory, remaining true to their original mission. The cap meant that any profits beyond a certain point would flow back to the non-profit parent. This move opened the floodgates, starting with a monumental $1 billion investment from Microsoft, a partnership that would prove to be one of the most significant in tech history. With this new firepower, OpenAI entered an era of unprecedented creation. This is where the names you know and love come into play. They unleashed a series of generative pre-trained transformers, or GPT models. GPT-2 was so powerful at generating coherent text that initially they were hesitant to release it fully. Then came GPT-3, a model so vast and capable it felt like a quantum leap, writing poetry, code and essays that were astonishingly human-like. Alongside this, they developed Doll-E, an AI that could create stunning, surreal, and photorealistic images from simple text descriptions. And with Codex, they built an AI that could understand natural language and translate it into functioning computer code. These weren't just incremental improvements, they were breakthroughs that redefined what was possible. Then, in late 2022, everything changed. OpenAI released a simple conversational interface on top of its powerful language model and called it ChatGPT. It was free, accessible, and an absolute sensation. Suddenly, advanced AI wasn't just for researchers in a lab. It was in the hands of millions. Students were using it to help with homework, professionals were drafting emails, and creators were brainstorming ideas. The public's imagination was captured. Headlines screamed about the generative AI boom. ChatGPT didn't just showcase a technology. It single-handedly shifted the global conversation 
and made artificial intelligence a household topic, sparking both excitement and intense debate about our future. With great power comes great responsibility, and OpenAI found itself at the center of a swirling vortex of ethical questions. As their models became more capable, so did the potential for misuse. Concerns about bias, misinformation, and job displacement grew louder. The company published a charter on AI safety, vowing to prioritize humanity's well-being over commercial interests. But internal tensions about the pace of development and the right approach to safety culminated in a dramatic, headline-grabbing event in late 2023, the temporary ouster and swift return of CEO Sam Altman. This boardroom saga laid bare the fundamental conflict at the heart of the AI world, the race to innovate versus the need for caution. The partnership with Microsoft became the engine of OpenAI's global expansion. It wasn't just about money, it was about infrastructure. Microsoft's Azure Cloud Platform provided the colossal computing power necessary to train and run OpenAI's ever larger models. In return, Microsoft gained exclusive access to integrate this cutting-edge AI into its own products, from the Bing search engine to its office suite. This symbiotic relationship allowed OpenAI to deploy its technology at an enterprise scale, creating a powerful ecosystem that put its tools in the hands of businesses and developers across the globe, solidifying their position as a dominant force in the industry. While ChatGPT captured the public's imagination, the real disruption was happening behind the scenes. OpenAI commercialized its models through APIs, or application programming interfaces. This allowed developers and companies of all sizes to plug the power of GPT-4 and DAL-E directly into their own apps and services. Suddenly, startups were building AI-powered writing assistants. Educational platforms were creating personalized tutors, and media companies were automating content creation. From healthcare to finance to entertainment, entire industries began to transform, rethinking workflows and creating new possibilities. OpenAI wasn't just building a product, it was building a platform on which thousands of new innovations could flourish. So, what is the ultimate goal? From the very beginning, it has been the pursuit of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. This isn't just an AI that's good at one task. It's a hypothetical AI that possesses the ability to understand, learn, and apply its intelligence to solve any problem, just like a human being. This is the holy grail of AI research. While we aren't there yet, every new model is a step closer. OpenAI is investing heavily in research to understand what AGI might look like and, more importantly, how to ensure it is safe and aligned with human values. The race toward AGI is not just a technological challenge. It's a philosophical one that forces us to ask deep questions about the nature of intelligence and our own place in the universe. This brings us to today and to you. The story of OpenAI is more than just the story of a company. It s the story of a technology that is becoming woven into the fabric of our daily lives. From the way we work and learn to the way we create and connect, AI is becoming a collaborative partner. The future isn't about humans versus machines. It's about human-AI collaboration. The key is to approach this future not with fear, but with curiosity and a sense of empowerment. Understanding these tools, learning how to use them responsibly, and participating in the conversation about their development is crucial for everyone. The revolution is here, and it's inviting you to be a part of it. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through the history of OpenAI. We hope it gave you a clearer picture of how we arrived at this incredible moment in time. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to learn more about the technologies shaping our world, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the AI Cyclops for more stories that matter. We'll see you in the next one.